I'm here with Tempo today and I'm going to show you a little bit about how we've used targeting to teach her manners and teach her about halter leading and polite approaches. Right now um, I'm using hay as her reward and asking her to target my hand. When she was newborn and uh, not eating hay yet we used scratches as her reward and she worked very hard for those. And we did teach her first to target on our hands. Another thing we taught her early on was to put her nose into a hand as if it were a halter. So we asked her to come put her nose there and keep our hand there. And I'm using a um, cluck sound with my tongue to be a click. So I'll show you again about asking her to put her nose in our hand. After a while, we progressed to using other things as a target, including um, a halter. And to first get her used to the halter, we just asked her to target it so I can get her attention. So she touched the target, she gets a reward. After doing that for a while, we progressed to the first step of haltering, which is putting my arm around her. And if she stayed still, we click and treat that. Initially, that made her a little nervous. Um, you know, just having our, our arms around her like that. Then we progressed to asking her to touch it with her nose, as she just demonstrated. She's learned a lot of this well. Then after she's targeting with her nose, we progress to putting it over her nose. Click and treat. And we always treat under her, away from our body. Then after that, I'd progress to putting it around her ears. Click and treat. And if she were to pull away, um, I would just simply release. <laughs> she's not meaning to bite my hand there, but <laughs> she's just learning to eat hay. Sometimes she gets a little... Now she pulls away there, I'm going to actually just let her go. Walk away. Never going to pull on the halter at this stage. I'll just ask her to come back by targeting. Another treat. And if she were to get aggressive or bitey at this point, I'd also just walk away and leave. The next step was teaching her just to let us touch the handle on the halter. Then the first step in getting her to lead was to put my hand there and then offer my other hand as a target. Encourage her to come forward. So rather than pulling her, we use what she'd already learned in targeting. And then before long, we could progress to where she's just leading with the halter. And again, as she pulls away, I just let it go. Encourage her to come forward with the target. So it's never a battle. And she's always rewarded for coming forward whether my hand's on the halter or not. We also could teach her to back with a little pressure on her chest and a reward. And then we use that once she learned that to teach back with the halter. We'd ask here with a little pressure first and then reinforce there. And then pretty soon, be back with just a little pressure on the halter. And then once that, once that's good, go over here and get my lead rope. And you can see she's she's interested in playing. She wants to stay with me. She's not leaving at all. Then with the lead rope, it's the same idea. First step, just putting it on. And, the reward. and again, we did the same thing here with the target. Put the target hand out and ask her to walk with us. And then you'd start with a little pressure and then the target if she didn't come. And pretty soon, 
didn't take long. She was walking with us at the halter and the lead, no pressure. So we hope this gives you a little idea of how to get started, how targeting can progress from uh, just polite approaches to working with the halter and the lead rope.